making the time and effort to join Divya, Neha, the rest of the crews and myself as we look for the suitable boy. I was inspired to make this film when my young daughter came and asked me for an arranged marriage. My generation had fought for the freedom of having choices, the freedom to have love marriage. It was strange that our future generations were asking for the traditional art, were taking on this challenging concourse of compromise. They don't know what dating is about. They don't understand what dating is. If a guy and a girl in Bombay go out and hang out, it's not normal. Like, they don't understand that. They think that if they're taking you out, it means you want something more out of them. You want to get married to them straight away. Looking around, I realized it wasn't just my predicament. Most mothers had a wish list from their daughters. This threw me off keel. Why were so many millions of young Indian girls preferring to go the old-fashioned way? The reason the girls are pursuing marriage and then love is because it gives you safety. Because they are far more successful than love marriages these days. Questioning this, I shared spaces with Divya and Neha as they start their search for the perfect match. I'm looking for a guy who is independent, outgoing, um, someone who is well educated because I believe I'm quite strongly educated, someone who's well traveled. So you have a big list of uh, your demands, you know, you have to meet. Yeah, well, guys have a big list of demands too. If I got a guy who got up every morning and went like 9.30 I have to be at work and 6 o'clock I have to be home, 8 o'clock is my dinner, this, that, I will put him on the sun. <laughs> or I will give him a jalab. Like just so that there's something different, there's some excitement. What I chanced upon and witnessed was that we were still a society buffeting old traditions and social mores, parochial in our thinking where a girl could still be rejected based on a horoscope, colour, caste or creed. I didn't reject her because I thought she was bad. It was just that uh, my folks, they believe in matching horoscopes and my, my grandparents are pretty much adamant on doing so. So hers and mine was a very bad match. Everywhere a bond, they've said you're fat in, in very clear terms. You're fat, so you basically are not, you don't have the right to fall in love or you don't have the right to be accepted. This makes a very precious experience of finding love, of finding one's life partner into a clinical calculated bet. Is this what we want for our future? I hope to spark off dialogue, question gender equality through the voices of these two brave young ladies, Divya and Neha, who have shared their intimate spaces, the most humbling and humorous moments with us. After hearing everything, I actually finally want to ask you one last time. Are you arranged marriage material?